Welcome to another edition of In The Car Reviews. Daniel. Bro. Yeah. He's not back there today. Not today. We gave him the break. This is an R-rated movie. Oh, wait. We already saw two R-rated movies. Yeah, yeah, that's anyway, true. Anyway, he's not here today because it's a horror movie. <laughs> he's not a fan of horror movies. Actually, I'm not even a fan of horror movies. Uh, so today's movie we just saw is Get Out. The movie directed by uh, uh, Key and Peele. No. Was it? Jonathan Peele. I don't even know his it name. It was done by Peele. The guy who did Keanu, the guy who's one half of the Key and Peele group. Jonathan Peele. There you go. Right, right. So, this is the story of Get Out. Do you want to explain it? Uh, it's basically about a African-American gentleman, a black guy, who gets together with a white woman, black guy, gets together with a white woman and go over to his parents' house in the suburb, you know, where apparently uh, he has uh, black servants. I mean, I say servants because they don't look... Uh, they're technically employed and something doesn't add up you know they're acting very strange long story short uh should i go into spoilers no, no not yet that's not yet so go basically ahead. long story short he feels uncomfortable he feels like there's something wrong in the environment and he feels he needs to get out of there and then the plot kicks in this movie is freaking awesome i'm I not gonna it. lie i loved it i didn't think it would be that good I thought it was going to be one of those uh, crappy bullshit movies. You know, you go see it. Kind of like Keanu. You know, even though the cat. I like the cat. But anyway, I, I really liked the movie. It, was, it kept you there. It was suspenseful. It was, it was great. I don't know what to say. You know, it was, it was, it was something refreshing. Because every, you know, you got these movies today where your typical scary movies these days, you know, they never die. That's why I don't like scary movies. They never die in the end. Even yeah. when they die, they come back. So it's like, whatever. So it was nice seeing something refreshing. And don't get me wrong. Actually, uh, this movie isn't a horror movie. This is actually a suspense thriller. Yeah. There are a couple of good scares. They had We had one person in our audience who just had someone walking by with really loud music. And she obviously got scared. And everyone, yeah. we, remember everyone in the audience yeah. was laughing at her? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This movie is... This movie does stuff like that where it has scares. They're not jump scares. They're not cheap. They actually feel kind of scary. The movie is very refreshing like that. It's pretty well timed too. Never felt really long. Except in our movie theater, I was kind of nodding off in a, a bit. because. But that was, the only reason for that is because our theater was all the way at the end of the hall. Yeah. And we had the one movie theater that had no air conditioning. So it had none. I was sweating. In that I movie. was fine. I was fine. I even noticed that. Uh, I was freaking. I felt uncomfortable at the end. I started squirming in my chair. It was so hot there. I thought it was the movie doing that to you. No, not at oh, all. Okay. And this okay. is. I'm. I'm a person who walked into there, knowing what the twist was at the end, and even how it was ex. I didn't know how it was executed, but I knew what the twist was, and even I was kind of shocked at how well it was. So the execution was good. The yes. execution was good. And actually, even the, the, the twist, even if you knew what was going to happen, how it was executed, I didn't guess. I didn't. I My head went completely the other way. Um, the only, probably the only bad thing I can say about this movie is the beginning starts off long. Like, it takes a while to start going. Yeah, but, but that's what made the movie it's good. It, I, you got to build into it. Yeah, it was building the characters, but for me, it kind of took a little bit too long. But it did have a lot of aha moments. Mm -hmm. Like, the whole thing about the father's grandfather being the guy who yeah, lost well, to Jesse Owens. It feels pointless, and it feels like padding when it happens. But when you figure out where that leads to at the end. Well, that's what made the movie great. You yeah. know, you got all these insignificant stuff that at the end come together and you be like, oh, that's why. But it kind of wasn't paced at the beginning real well. There we go. It kind of wasn't paced at the beginning real well. Once it got into the middle part and once they got to the 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 main character feeling uncomfortable around the family that's when it really got good yeah and it really got interesting the mother is fucking creepy as shit whoever plays her is she is the devil 
What are you talking about? Oh, you talking about no the white lady's mom? Yo, you know the black, the black lady was creepy as shit. Oh, she She's, was. She scared the shit out of me. I'm telling you. She wasn't creepy. I, I was. She definitely was. She was creepy, not as much as the mom, because the mom is a. Uh, she was a therapist, or she was a. Yeah, she was a psychological. She was therapist. a psychologist. Yeah, yeah. Who knew how to put people. In uh, what's it called? In a trance, and she knew hypnosis. That's scary, bro. I, I totally see that in real life. Yeah, and the scene, really do. the scene where she puts the main character under her spell, was somewhere between. It kind of looked cheap, but at the same time, it made sense. Though. It made sense, and this is that felt like something that can happen to you. Like I felt the claustrophobia of the main character as he started to drift away, and. Um, and he started to fall under her spell more and more. Uh, the it, it, father wasn't as bad. No, you know you could tell something was wrong with him. No, but, the brother, you could definitely tell something was wrong. Well, because half of the time he was drunk. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, but it was a, it was a good movie. It was a great movie. I give it a nine point five. I mean, it was surprising, especially when I found out who the director was. You know, I didn't think... You just never know. No. I, and there's definitely going to be part two because I still have a theory about that cop being part of the family and all that. And I didn't think she'd die. But anyway, we'll see. I don't... I, I think this is a one and done. I think he'll move on to his next movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't have an issue with that. Bye-bye, cops. Oh, there's a couple coming. I know. Hopefully we don't get stopped. If we do, we already have them on video. <laughs> so you, if you see us, get out! <laughs> for real, it won't be get out. Put this on the, put this on the internet, baby. Oh Hashtag God. police beating. For real. Wait a minute. Yeah. So uh, the movie was really good. You want to get into spoiler talk real quick? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, spoiler talk. Let me do this one. The whole twist of the movie. By the way, if you didn't see this movie. Fucking stop here. This is the part where you stop, cut, and come back after you see the movie. The main plot of this movie is that the white people are taking over black people's body, which I knew. I didn't know how they were doing it. How they were doing it is they would, the mother would hypnotize the black people. The father would come and perform surgery on them by cutting off the top of their heads, removing the black person's brain and putting into the white person. That's how they would do it. Merging of the brains. Mm -hmm. I don't, they didn't really explain much about how the black people still kept their consciousness. Because it was a merging of the brain. They still have part of their brain merged with the other one. That's why. I thought he took out the whole brain. No, 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 he kept part of it in there. Oh, he had to because of the spinal stem. Right. Cause you right. can yeah, you, you would have to cut out the whole, all right, that makes sense. Yeah, so that's, the, Go ahead. So the whole time, that's the point. Um, there's a really well edited scene, and I know you didn't get it. I knew it as soon as it was happening, where the uh, the the main character is talking to his girlfriend, and she's like, "We," he's like, "We need to get out of here. I don't like this place. I feel uncomfortable." And as that conversation is going on, there's a montage going on, but with no words, where the father tells them. That oh we're gonna go play bingo. All the white people are gonna go play bingo. Oh okay, and everyone okay. started raising their cards and you would see the father go. No words. You cut back to the, the couple and they're talking. Father would go. No talking. Cut back to the the couple. Come back. And all the whole time while he's flashing fingers, people are raising their bingo cards. They're bidding. Basically, that's what it was. Yeah, and there's there's this big picture of the main character behind the father. So you know, the whole thing is they were they were bidding to who's gonna get him and who's gonna get his body. So that was pretty creepy. Um, the one part I didn't. Oh no, no there's another part I didn't like. Mm. The whole part where when they finally capture the main character, they sit him down, they have him tied up, and the guy who won him goes into a complete exposition dump and tells them exactly why this is happening, how it happened, 
what's gonna happen? Like, why are you doing this for the audience? That's when I find. But he got doesn't it. know. How, he doesn't know. The main character doesn't need to know any of this. That's true. That's true. Why is he showing it to them? Well, why are they showing it? Why is he talking to him as he's prepping his body? So I thought that was kind of weird to happen in the movie. It was definitely a moment where it was totally for the audience, so they can get everything they weren't that you know to explain mm-hmm. everything that was going on. I thought that was really unnecessary. So. Yeah, that kind of like. That's my I thought. See, on I that see one. what you're saying. Um, the whole twist that, especially when you finally figure out, see the whole time the the maid was acting weird. For some reason, I thought because I already had come into this knowing that it was white people switching with black people's bodies because they they it's not they hated black people they liked them so much yeah, they wanted to they, be black they thought they were superior. So that's why they were doing it. So like the whole time I was thinking the mom. The white mom was switching bodies with the maid somehow. Yeah, that maid was scary. She She's, was she was very odd. She scared me. But the whole thing was that the maid was actually the white people's grandparent, grandma. And then there's a there's a quick scene, and actually they don't don't do enough with the the gardener, the gardener for the family or it's no the grandfather. Yeah, the it's grandfather. the grandfather. That's why he's always running. He yeah. There's there's a scene and it's in the trailer where you see him running at the main character and all of a sudden he just runs around and it just keeps jetting. That's because the grandfather of the father was the guy who lost to Jesse Owens, and I guess he he resented it so he wanted mm-hmm. to be like Jesse Owens. So that's why he he's always running around in the, at night because he wants to relive what he didn't get to do because he got ble- beat by a black man. I thought that was pretty cool. I think the gardener and the maid, the the actor and the actress, they did a good job. I think they yeah. put a lot of tension in the movie. I liked it. I, I, I liked it. 9.5. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I thought there was a couple of things that could have needed explaining. And once again, maybe I thought the beginning was a little slow. Maybe Once again, this just maybe cause goes back to the fact that I was uncomfortable in this freaking hot-ass theater. So... But I'd give it a 9.2. It's, I definitely went into this movie not believing that it's still at 99% on Rotten Tomato. I thought it was going to suck the movie. I really did. I I, did. This is one of those movies where I go into it thinking they can't be that right. And they were. This movie is an excellent well-made movie. Um, Peel, Jordan Peele definitely did a great job with yeah. this. This is a guy who came from comedy. And he's doing an excellent suspense film where people who are in the suspense field can't even get the damn movies right. I mean, this movie proves to me that the st- it, it's the story could be... Because when I first heard about heard about the story, I thought, like, it sounded fucking ridiculous. You know, it's one of these movies that th- it proves that it doesn't matter what the story is as long as you know how to execute it. Mm-hmm. The story could be ridiculous. Because, come on, let's face it, it's ridiculous. For me to, like... Take your brain, yes. put it in mine, and to all switch, that. Yeah, they don't. You know, it's, they, like, they, it's stupid. It's it's not it's not possible. You know. It's yeah, like, they, don't, they don't really get down to the physiological, you know, stuff on how they do it. But but the, uh, but the point is that they did it in such a way that you'd be like, oh shit, okay, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, and I'm really excited to see what he does next. I hope he branches out more. There's, oh, he will. Yeah, there's will. a lot of talk about him doing the live action version of Akira. I don't think that's going to happen after as much as uh, Ghost in the Shell is bombing everywhere as it is. But that's a talk for a different review. I heard Keanu 2 is coming out. Is it? That's what I heard. And Get Out. Get Out Part 2. They're going to be a Part 2. I, Mark my words. I don't think so. I think so. Watch. We'll see. It's making good. Yeah, this def- this movie's had legs. This movie came out February. Yeah, it's still going. And it's still in the top 10 yeah. f- three months later. It's it's only up to 100. It's not a blockbuster, but it's, but you know why? Because it's a movie it's, that has legs. It's one of those movies that started out slow. Yeah, and it's and just, it built up. Mm-hmm. So people are actually seeing it after it came out. Most, oh, yeah. Most movies, you see them when they first come out, and they die out very quickly, you know? Yeah, most movies, after their, their first weekend, they drop, I think, on an average, like, 60% to mm-hmm. the following weekend. Mm-hmm. This movie has never dropped more than, I believe the number is 38%. Good movie. It's, it's 9.5. Good, good movie. Good movie. Watch it. I'm very surprised by... What's his name again? Uh, P, uh, Jordan Peele? Yep. I'm, I'm very surprised. Very, yeah. very surprised. I am too. 
go out and see it. That's all for today.